Make some noise for Ken Perlstein. Well, Easter's around the corner, is it? Yeah, I guess so, man. And uh, I actually grew up in a very nice neighborhood growing up as a kid, you know? That was, uh, it was like a mixture of a lot of Gentile people. So what I used to do is I, I used to pay them Easter eggs. You, I'm a true boy, I didn't know. I had no idea what it was about until my friend's dad told me about it. He's like, you know, you guys uh, you know, killed Christ. Oh, like, that's a lot to shoulder on a, on a fucking ten-year-old. <laughs> Thanks for the pressure. You know? <laughs> so I just started writing on the eggs. We didn't do it. <laughs> oh, it's tough, man. I'm tired. I got a uh, timer at home, so I'm sure we got some parents in here. He's just turned four, which means he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta tell you, man, this book, One, Two, Three Magic, this timeout stuff, it doesn't work. It's called One, Two, Three Bullshit. <laughs> because you're, every time he acts out, he's like, you're a pain in the butt! Shh! Shh! It's like, what are you talking to? <laughs> and then you end up putting him on a chair after like three strikes, you're like, now, nah, yeah, you gotta try reasoning with it like a four-year-old, right? It's like, you know what you did wrong, right? You're a pain in the butt! I'm yeah. <laughs> Mom, you're dead. And, uh, you know, you're lucky you weren't. I wasn't my dad. Because my dad didn't put up with that stuff. I think anybody from like the 70s and 80s, parents were different, you know? Yeah. You didn't get one, two, three magic. My dad's like, I'm going to get over. I'm going to count the one. Get the. <laughs> <laughs> That's your time out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's all good, right? That's tough. Man. That's, uh, but it worked, because you know, I never mouthed off. I was like, Dad, you're up. I love you. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, I uh, I don't you know, I don't know. I don't want to get up. You know, I don't I don't ever want to raise a hand to him, you know, because I I'm afraid I would just never fucking stop. <laughs> I kind of look down at them and I go, don't make daddy drink again. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> and, uh, I, uh, I am married. Uh, I just actually just got married last year. We just celebrated our you know, first anniversary. Uh, we have to, we really don't have to clap for that because it took three years, you know, and her getting you know, better insurance for me to say yes. <laughs> I met her online, so yes, Craigslist works. You know? <laughs> I met her on Craigslist. No, no uh, I, it was on OKCupid, okay but uh, it is hard. You know, it's uh, marriage is hard. Quality time is tough too. And trying to make you don't have sex anymore. You know what you get is a text. It's like if you can find a program for him to watch within two minutes, it's on. <laughs> Going through the list, I'm like, shit, what do you want to watch, kid? Do you want Minions? No. Do you want Tarzan? No. How about The Shining? <laughs> so I find a program. She's like, what did you put on? I'm like, Paw Patrol. She's like, that's only 20 minutes. I'm like, this will be over in five. <laughs> He's in preschool, guys. He's in preschool. So, uh, you know, New York City, guys, preschool is... The shit. It's a big deal for preschool. I hate New York City parents. Preschool parents. They're little whiny, whiny, joey. Man, what do you do for a living? Eh? Acting's tough. Yeah. Acting's really tough. I'm like, what do you do? I do hedge funds. I'm like, which means you're about to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with the rejection? What do you do with the rejection? I'm like, you know what? Uh, before, I used to, you know, uh, drink and go on a three day coke bitch, you know? <laughs> Shit on somebody's Seder plate in a blackout, you know? <laughs> I'm doing a lot better today, you know? Things are better. I overeat and I cut myself. <laughs> Would you like a play date? <laughs> yeah, I don't want play dates with my ass, you know? 
But like, you know, I, I read them books, you know, I like reading them books and explaining stories like Goldilocks is a good one, right? Goldilocks is, it, it, it pertains to today. Uh, you're reading it and you're like, wow, what's it about? And like, Goldilocks, well, it's about breaking and entering. <laughs> you know? It's about destruction of property. She, she destroys a chair and shit. She steals food. You know, she sleeps in her home without permission. And he's like, does she go to jail? I'm like, no, because she's white. <laughs> He's got a nephew. Uh, not a nephew. He's a cousin. I'm saying nephew. I have a nephew. I have so many nephews. A bigger family, you know. Well, one of them like took swimming. He's like eight years old. And, uh, he had the balls. The only thing he had the balls to look at me and go, Uncle Ken, why are you fat? Are <laughs> <laughs> you fat, Uncle Ken? Why? I'm gonna fucking answer. Him. <laughs> You know, not, uh, I'm like, uh, Nate, you know, I'm fat because I eat kids after I frickin' drown. <laughs> Why are you adopted? <laughs> All right, guys, I gotta get out of here. Thanks so much.